Hey everyone, James Chapman here. Today we're going to be looking at fills. Now I tend not to talk about fills or licks too much because to me a fill has to be written for the music or played spontaneously for it to really fit. I don't like the idea of having a set lick and then just throwing it in somewhere because if it wasn't intended for the music it probably won't work too well. But sometimes looking at a particular lick or a particular fill is a great way of seeing how you can use and apply different concepts on the kit whether it's dynamics or rudiments or anything like that it's great to see how they fit in musically okay now this particular field is really cool because it uses two different elements it uses rudimental playing with dynamics which you know not many metal guys play and not many rock drummers use you know it's more kind of jazz fusion softer styles of of playing where people are really kind of aware of their rudiments and, and dynamics and then it uses a linear phrase now linear just means that no two things hit at the same time and this linear phrase is like a, a split between uh, it's just all single strokes but it's split between the hands and bass drums with the feet now that kind of thing is really common with guys like Terry Bozio and Mike Portnoy and it's very kind of rock and metal orientated now obviously a lot of softer players use lots of amazing linear kind of uh, concepts and there are a lot of rock players out there that will use dynamics and rudiments. So don't get too set with the whole sort of, you know, this concept is used in this style of music and this concept is used in this style of music. If you're a good versatile drummer, you should be able to combine it. And the more styles of music you listen to and the more styles of music you play, the better you'll be at your one particular preferred style of music. Nothing wrong with listening to jazz if you're a death metal drummer. Now, the lick is kind of split into two halves. The first is a Vinnie Colaiuta lick. I watched a video of John Riley explaining this and it was when Vinnie was sound checking for Shaka Khan. Now Vinnie's lick is a six stroke roll followed by single strokes and uh, he's was playing triplets. Now because we're doing twice as many notes we're going to be playing a sextuplet fill so it's all with that kind of you know six note fill. Um, the second half of it is all single strokes and it's a linear phrase with a couple of different bass drum bits at the end. So let me show you the sticking for that. Okay, so the first thing we should do is have a look at the fill, play it slowly, play it up to speed, see how it sounds. Now the first half of the Vinnie lick is a six stroke roll and it's going to be played right, left, left, right, right, left. It's going to end with an accent on the left hand, on that let. One trip, let, two trip, let. The second half of the Vinnie lick is a standard triplet fill one triplet, two triplet, playing snare, snare, tom, tom, floor, tom, floor, tom, but the first note is going to be accented, which again means the second note has to be a little softer. And when you put the two halves together, you get this. So let's have a look at that Vinnie lick played in a groove. The second half of the fill is simpler in that you don't have rudimental phrasing and double strokes to think of, but the linear phrasing is just a bit different, which is one thing I wanted to show because it's, it's all well and good playing a typical linear, you know. As a metal player, but it sounds very simple, it's almost like playing four on each drum, you know. Whereas this gives you a slightly different kind of feel to the feel. Now, 
it's still in sextuplets, but if we break it down into the half of it and we're thinking of it as triplets, it would be played one triplet, two triplet, floor, snare, snare, tom, floor, floor. And then the second half would be bass, bass, floor, snare, bass, bass. Three trip let four trip let. So the whole thing one trip let two trip let three trip let four trip let. So let's play that for you. Bit faster. Okay, so let's put these two halves of the field together. Remember, we've got that fantastic Vinnie lick at the start of it, which gives you a really great sound, followed by this kind of almost gospel feeling linear lick at the end of it. Now, the great thing about this field is you could play it slow, you could play it fast, but don't push the tempo. If you can only play it at a certain speed, play it there, get used to it, never play faster than you can play it comfortably and tightly. So let's hear it in a groove. 